Toyota presents FC Dallas Extra Time, an all-access pass to your favorite soccer club. Ahead in the next 30 minutes, Oscar Pereja tells us exclusively what it was like visiting Pablo Escobar in his infamous prison. But we were part of that community. We were part of the good and the bad because we were just sitting in the middle there playing soccer and being exposed to people who think this way and the other way. Plus, we'll show you why it's a new era for soccer in North Texas. And we're getting you ready for tonight's match against Seattle right now on FC Dallas Extra Time, brought to you by Toyota. Welcome to FC Dallas Extra Time, brought to you by Toyota. I am Gina Miller, your host, alongside FC Dallas midfielder Mara Rosales. Thanks so much for joining us. Yeah, welcome. It's, uh, it's a pleasure to be here oh, with you. Glad to see you here and glad to see you here as well as we get you ready for tonight's match against Seattle. FC Dallas back home, um, back home on Wednesday, but really it's been a crazy busy week for you guys. Three games over the course of the last seven days. That first game in Toronto last Saturday. Yes, yes, it was uh, uh, very busy with a lot of traveling, uh, a lot of uh, everybody uh, having not better res the result that we wanted, but uh, uh, everybody focusing in, in the games that we had ahead, try to come back, try to do our best and uh, just to keep our, uh, ourselves in the, in the best position that we, we, we used to have in the first position. We, we, we like to be there and uh, obviously uh, the team is working really, really hard to to get back and, and uh, to the to the good rhythm of good results. FC Dallas is Morrow's fourth MLS team. He's played, of course, for tonight's opponent, Seattle, Chivas USA, and Vancouver. But I'm burying the lead here because you are the first Olympic gold medalist on yes, FC yeah. Dallas Extra Time. <laughs> Morrow won gold with Argentina at the 2004 Olympics in Athens. What was that experience like? Oh, it was the great, yeah. one of the best of my life. And, and just to share uh, the time with uh, amateurs and, and uh, just being professional, being in in, in the other side of the of the sport, and uh, try to share with all the uh, athletes that they were there in the in the Olympic Village, and uh, having the gold medal in uh, in the end of the day because we, we we worked really really hard. We had a very good games. We played seven games and and we beat Paraguay in the in the final, and uh, it was a great team. Great. Uh, players, quality players, quality coach staff, and uh, um, as a part of that team, uh, I will always remember that moment. And uh, it took us to to the to the top of the of the world in that moment. And um, uh, obviously, it will be something that uh, will be in my heart for forever. And uh, one of the best experiences that I had in my career. Also, representing my my country and uh, representing how 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 important is the soccer for us. Uh, it was it was really cool. Well, I asked uh, FC Dallas PR director Jason Minnick to see if you would bring your medal with you. If I had a gold medal, I'd, I'd wear it around <laughs> all the time. I'd always have it. Of course, you don't have it here in North Texas with you. Where do you keep it? In Argentina. My family have it in a very safe place. So. <laughs> Uh, I have it there. I cannot wear it. It's okay. too heavy. I'd wear uh, it. <laughs> no shame. <laughs> but uh, obviously, it's in a safe and a, and a really good place in, in, in my house in Argentina. And uh, some of my, obviously, my family is really proud to have it and, and to, to keep it. Very cool. We are just getting started here with Mara Rosales on FC Dallas Extra Time. Coming up, our series on Oscar Pereja's meeting with Pablo Escobar continues. Soccer in our country is all, it means everything. The 50-50 raffle is brought to you by Globe Life and it returns tonight. The club hosts a raffle at home games throughout the season in which half the proceeds go to a local charity as well as the FC Dallas Foundation. The other half of the raffle proceeds go to a lucky winner who purchases a ticket. Tonight's 50-50 raffle beneficiary is the Salvation Army. For more information, log on to fcdallas.com slash 50-50 raffle. 